Yeah. There's one, there's one. Fish on, baby. Big fish, big fish, big fish. CJ ain't getting through that shit. CJ ain't making it through that. Well, good morning, people. Welcome back to another slab adventure. We are at another new place today, and the one word to describe this place is anomaly. We're here in the middle of the low country of South Carolina. It's hot, it's muggy, it's the middle of summer, yet we're about to fish a crystal clear cold water stream that holds huge trout, stripers, and smallmouth bass. Today we're gonna be strictly fly fishing. We've got all the fly gear, We've got three or four different fly setups. We've certainly fly fished on this channel, but again, we are very new to the fly game still. We're still learning. It's something we're trying to do more of. We're trying to explore more of and show you guys maybe some of the ins and outs as we go along this fly fishing journey and learn. We're gonna cover a lot of water, a lot of ground. This is gonna be a full day, a full blown adventure. Should be a good time, guys. Let's get it. Just saw a fish like come up and strike on top of the surface. It looks like I might tie on a dry fly here in a sec. Yep. Oh, <laughs> he missed it. Yep, he got it. God, he broke me off. Oh. Really? Okay, explanation time because we didn't film this part. What you just saw was us attempting to fish for trout in a certain section of the Saluda River and it didn't work out. We did not get any fish. We had that one blow up but couldn't hook into them unfortunately. The second half of the day is what you're about to see and we actually linked up with our good buddy Mike who lives down there in Columbia and hooked us up with his canoe. It's a big canoe that we use to actually float down the river. I went and picked up Mike. We got everything ready. We got the canoe and all of our gear down to the launch site, and that's where we pick the story back up. Well, a little bit of a skip forward to the current situation right now, folks. It's a little hectic. We are uh, starting the second portion of this day. First portion, fly fishing for trout did not go as planned. We did not connect on any more trout, unfortunately. It's good, let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Mike, you good? Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. This is Mike. Uh, he's he's helping us out. He's the one that's kind of invited us down here. We're in. Yeah. <laughs> We're off. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. Goal. First things first. Get out of this crowd. Second thing. Run into some striper and hopefully some smallmouth. That's what we are leaving. Look at the line goes all the way back there. <laughs> we got. We decided to launch as soon as the biggest tour guide group of tubers you've ever seen decides to launch. Oh, we're good. Oh, yeah. Great wide open, baby. There's Siege. Siege is on the cam. We got Levi in the boat. We got fly rods. Like I said, we're targeting striper and smallmouth. Hopefully, really anything that bites because the trout just did not cooperate this morning. So, this will be interesting. Let's get it. Oh, my God, guys. This is ridiculous. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I would maybe... Yeah. I think straight through. Straight through the, the gully right yep. here. Here we go. All right. This shouldn't be too bad. Nah. I've done stuff like this before, but we've got a lot of stuff on this boat right now. Here we go. I think we're good. All right. We got to paddle hard. Paddle hard. Paddle through it, baby. Paddle through it. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yes, sir. <laughs> hey. There we go. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, guys, so again, same fly setup. I'm using an eight weight 
nine foot rod should be good for these stripers i do need to put a couple things on though i need to put uh, i have floating line this is floating line and it's not ideal uh for for what we're doing here in this deeper water so i'm gonna put on what's known as a poly leader it's a weighted uh sinking leader that should get my bait down a little bit deeper. And then uh, from there, I'll probably fish uh, like a streamer, some type of streamer. All right, guys, we're rigged up. I got the uh, poly leader on, and uh, this is what I'm gonna be throwing today. It looks terrible right now, but if I can put it in the water, it looks like a pretty good little uh, little bait fish imitation with some, some chartreuse in there. Striper-like chartreuse in my experience. So we're gonna try it. Might be difficult to get a cast off here. There we go. I think it's pretty stable. Guys, I was literally just dragging my fly behind the boat and I pull up and I'm on <laughs> and it feels pretty good, dude. I need to make sure he can take take line. My line's all tangled up. Maybe we should just troll flies. Right? <laughs> first, first probably striper on a fly, baby. Let's go, hopefully he'll stay on. Oh man, dude, he's, he's heavy. Everything feels heavy on this, but this guy feels pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's not bad. All right, we're gonna get him right to the net, baby. Right to Mike. Is he done yet? Nice and easy. He ain't fighting too hard. It's not huge. Oh, he ain't done yet. He ain't done yet. Oh, oh man. It's going through that poly leader right now. I, don't, I really don't want him to make a surge, but I think this line has got him. All right, he's coming up. Don't want to force him. Beautiful, great net, nice. beauty. Nice. We got a crowd over here. <laughs> we got the biggest crowd of tubers you could ever imagine. Dude, let's go, baby. Not the not the most conventional way to catch a fish, but that's not bad right there. That's a nice striper. There he is, guys. Probably about a uh, probably about a uh, I don't know, like a 20 20 something incher right there. 20 incher. 18 something like that not a bad one first striper on a fly hey mike all you baby <laughs> <laughs> Literally. mike is no. mike has helped us so much just even like from getting out here in the chaos to the uh running the trolling to motor. run yeah basically being our trolling motor to uh to netting the fish man guy can't thank mike enough for this that is awesome right there is that good oh there he goes see you buddy <laughs> nice. premature release <laughs> but that'll work all right well let's get another one y'all there's yeah. there's obviously ones here once this flotilla kind of goes by i think just like making a cast up and then like long lining like letting line out and letting it drift down is honestly a great way to do things because i guarantee you he hit that just because my fly got down to a depth that we hadn't been That's hitting not bad not too shabby that was a good fight that was a great fight on this on this eight weight fly rod we'll hit the other side let these tubers go by and then i say we should kind of try to mimic that same exact thing we just did boys here we go rapids round two <laughs> oh this is gonna be fun yeah i'd stay kind of right here but stay to the left of this big rapid yeah like right through here yeah yeah paddle hard baby paddle 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 Yeah, I, that got closer and I was like, ooh, that's a little. All right. All right. Just, we can't be sideways. That's the only thing. So, let's do it, boys. 
Yeah, left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woohoo! That was awesome. I hope so. Are we pretty close to the confluence? Yes, this is it. This is it? Yep. Okay. That's the beginning of it. So guys, this is where Oh look 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 huge striper. Mega striper. That's a mega striper. That's a striper. <laughs> Should we turn around? Yeah. Okay. Siege. Gigantic striper. We could uh we could maybe get out too. Let's let's go let's go on that shoal over there and uh and cast out to the side, dude. I'm just happy. That was a mondo striper. All right, guys, we just pulled off on the side right here and we floated down this big flat and we saw a humongous 20 plus pound striper and it's up here somewhere. We don't really know where exactly, but there could be more. So this is a good spot probably to post up. God, this water's so cold, man. really know what I'm casting at right now. Nothing really, but he's somewhere. I'm worried guys, if I hook into this thing, even if I do hook into it, I'm not gonna be able to handle it on this rod. Like it's too big. It's like a 20, it was a 20 plus pound striper. He's got to be somewhere. Uh, he was going up when we saw him, but he was, we saw him like over here. It's very possible he's all the way up to those rapids by now, but it's the biggest striper I've ever seen. Thought it was a carp at first. It was this long, dude. It was huge. Oh, big striper, big striper, big striper. He's right there. See him? There's striper down there. I just saw some. They're moving below the boat. There's a bunch. Get him. Oh, dude, yeah, he's schooling on it. Oh. Oh, we got a school there. Yeah, that's a school. Yeah. Wow, that was cool. Yep. Yeah, there we go, baby. Mike's on. Let's go, Mike. Mike with the stripey. Dude, it's got that back current too. Yeah. Looks great. Oh, fish on, baby, fish on. That looks like a smallie. Finally. Looks like a smallie. I'll bring him around here. He's not, he's not a giant, okay. but he's, he's biting. He does, he's doing what smallies do. Dude, this spot just looked too good. Right? For there not to be a smallie. There he is. That's a nice one. That's not bad. I'm gonna go past the poly leader here. So hopefully he doesn't surge again. He's coming. Hey, I'm gonna come on this side. I'm gonna come on this side. There he is. Yeah, I'm coming on this side. He does not wanna come in, that's for sure. There's another one with him. Did you see that? There we go. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's a good one for, for the broad. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Woo! Check it out, y'all. Finally. Nice fat smallie. Sweet boys. There she is. Hey, yo, right here, yeah, dude. Man, heck yeah. Thank you. Absolutely. Not a giant, but it's a smallie. It's one of the species we, we came here for. So that is awesome. Awesome, awesome right there. Such a pretty fish, dude. Yeah, that's so a good pretty. One we went down that run and we noticed that that eddy right there. It looked just it looked too good not to have a, a, a fish in it. Man, that is a pretty, pretty fish. All right, guys, we're gonna get this fish released. 
What a pretty, pretty fish. Saluda River, Broad River, Congaree, I don't know. We're somewhere around there. Small mouth. So, so cool. She's ready to go. We, like there's literally Spanish moss hanging from the trees literally right here. And we've got a small mouth in our hands in a river. Just, just crazy. Such an anomaly. So cool to catch one on the fly too. We're gonna get a sweep underwater. Hey, Mike, hooking it up, dude. Yeah, bro. That is awesome. Yeah, she's chilling right there. Hey, there might be another one in this eddy. Yeah, we, we go. yeah, we'll go over there. We almost got into a mess right there with some tubers. <laughs> like right up on the uh, skinu. Yeah. And uh, I thought my line, I thought that thing was gonna surge like underneath their tubes. I was like, oh God, this could be really bad. Let's get another one, man. Let's get another one. Small victories. Yeah, striper right here. Yeah, there's one, there's one. Fish on, baby. Big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish, big fish. He's peeling drag. He's peeling drag. He's peeling drag. Here, chase him, chase him. He might go down. He might go down this uh, this rapid here. It's a smallie. It's huge. It's probably a big striper. I'm keeping pressure on him this time. Paddle, yeah, paddle backwards. Keep paddling backwards. I think I can fight him. It's a striper. He's not that big. He's just in the current. Decent striper. It's about, oh, there's another one with it. There's another big one with it. Golly. There we go, baby. Not a bad one. Dude, they fight. They fight so hard. I thought that thing was huge. <laughs> like, that on a, on a fly rod is just unreal. Dude, I was hoping it was a smallie. That's a nice striper, though. Look at that. That's sweet. God, dude, it's, I don't know what's gonna happen if a true giant striper hits this thing because that thing, fought, that thing gave me a run for my money, dude. Like, that was, a, that was a hard fight. There he is, guys, having some success. We're almost to the end of our float, so we're about to be done, but uh, hopefully we can rack up a few more fish right here. I'm gonna let this guy go. Sweet, <laughs> that's awesome. Yes, let's go, baby. On the fly, too. Woo. I was worried. I was worried that that fish was gonna go down the go down the rapids, and we were gonna have to chase it down the rapids. That would have been interesting. Luckily, Mike was super clutch and put it in reverse. Just reverse this all back, baby. All right, let's get another one. They're in here. They're in here. They're schooling up. Yes. All right, Levi. You need to get your striper. All three of us got one on today. That cloud cover might be good for the bite. Right? Top water? Ooh, I think I just got hit again, boys. No, I felt something weird. I believe it. It been felt like a little pop that I don't think was supposed to be there. <laughs> I thought that thing was so much bigger, dude. I, I'm. That current. Yeah, that got current amplifies it. The fly rod amplifies it like crazy. I felt that. That's good. Yep. There you go. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah, you got him. Yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. Levi's on, baby. Let's go. We found the stripers. All right, I'm gonna cast a little bit farther down. How big is he? He still small, but when he did that, it scared me. Nice, dude. There we go. Hey. All three on the stripes. We're on them now. That is awesome. Yes. I was like pulling out line. Yeah. <laughs> like letting it float down. That's, I mean, that's typically how it happens. It seems like the you know, first one I caught was I don't think trolling. Was I think, and I could not tell. Oh, hey, you know what you did? Oh, oh yeah. You did that. Hey, see, it was a technique. Technique. <laughs> Technique. 
Technique. Spin around. Stop. I'll take three times. We're getting some good footage. Yeah. I'm, oh, there he is. Oh, let's go. Oh, nice. Another one. <laughs> All right, I gotta get up there. I'll call you back. We're There's another one, baby. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Yeah. We've we've run into him, boys. He feels a little bit smaller than the last one. So he still feels huge. <laughs> I'm just gonna flip him, I think. I, I think I can lip him. Ah, uh, here, come on in. Bro. There we go. Don't recommend doing this, folks. Definitely wanna make sure you get a net on your fish. Another little guy, but man, there's bite so freaking hard on the fly, it's crazy. I mean, that dude literally, like if I had to equate it to conventional fishing, that feels like, that feels like a four pounder, dude. Feels like a four pound bass. It's crazy. Nice one right there. Put you out. Whoop. See you, buddy. Yes. So after that last striper, it was getting late, it was getting dark. We floated down the rest of the way to the boat ramp and that was a wrap on the day. Such an awesome, awesome experience out there. Such a unique adventure with all those tubers, all those people out there partying and going crazy, yet we were still catching fish. And what a unique place too. Trout, striper, and smallmouth all in the same area in a super, super hot, muggy environment. It was just wild. Such a cool adventure. We're, we're definitely going to be back to the Saluda River very soon. We're definitely going to hit up our buddy Mike again. And huge shout out to Mike, man. Mike, you, you were awesome in this trip. You helped us big time. You put us on fish. You really made that trip possible for us with your skinu and your help and your guidance. So big shout out to Mike. I'm gonna link his Instagram handle right here below and in the description. That's a wrap, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. We got some awesome new adventures coming up, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And hey, remember, all it takes is one, baby. Slab out.